boys and girls and welcome to Goron Guitar. A great, great song here, great collaboration. Ex Ambassadors, Teddy Williams and Jack Ross with a song called Happy People. So it's a great uh, live performance there. One guitar, one keyboard or so and nothing else, just voices. Happy People will go with this song here without any capo, all right? And we will use different techniques. We will have this picking pattern here going on in verse and then strumming pattern here in the chorus and that's it. So let's take a look at the different chords we need for your song. All right, so we'll start with F, that's a bar chord. You place a bar here on the first fret over all strings. And then the rest will be third on A, third on D and second on G. Next chord is a G minor, all right? So you go with a bar chord now. Again, this time the bar is on the third fret over all strings, and then the rest will be fifth on A and fifth on G. Sorry, D, of course. So that's a G minor. Then we have the A sharp, and we can take that in two different ways for a song. I prefer um, this position here from the G minor to just go up with one finger when it comes to the verse play and then I'm going to show you the next uh, A sharp version after this one but first let's take a look at this so from G minor you have the same grip there the bar on the third fret the fifth on A and fifth on D from D, uh, G minor then you take the fifth on D and just place it on the sixth E string in the bass. Everything else is the same. Don't move anything from the G minor to this position here. So you release the D string there with the little pinky. You have the bard, of course, and then you put it on the sixth fret E string. That is your A sharp chord. If you choose to use that even later when it comes to the chorus play, I'm going to show you pretty soon another version, but if you choose to use this version, then stay away from the last E string when it comes to the strumming there, all right? So you can use everything, stay away from the last E string there, all right? So that is the first version of A sharp. The second one, which I prefer to use when it comes to the strumming here, because it uh, fits very well uh, with the other chords we're using for that purpose, uh, it's on this position here. It's the first fret uh, here we, uh, where you bar uh, on the strings there and you bar all strings except for the last E in the bass so from bottom up it's five strings and then the rest will be third on D and third on G and that is the sus version I choose that for the chorus right so two versions of A sharp then we have the D minor all right so that is open D second G third B and first E So there we have the basic chords and then we also have a bridge part later on. So we're going to use some other chords for that as well. And that is uh, actually just one more, um, no actually two more, it is, it's the D sharp, all right? So I grab the D sharp here on the sixth position here with the bar chord, the bar finger. Then I bar all strings except from the last E here. So from bottom up it's five strings and then the rest will be eight on D and eight on G. And then we also have a standard C. So that is third on A, second on G, open G, first B and open E. All right, so let's take a look at this beautiful song. Happy people. So. The verse play is uh, in the same way for all the verses. You're going to play this picking pattern. So it goes with F, it sounds like this. We're going to think as pyramids now. It looks like a pyramid if you look at a tablature. So um, you hold the chord as it is. And you start to play from the bass strings there. First fret E string, third A, third D. 2nd G, back to 3rd D, and back to 3rd A. So you pretty much go just down and back up, ending on A string. That is the F pattern, the G pattern, the G minor that comes next. You just hold the chord as it is and follow the same pattern now. 
So that gives us this. So that is third on E, fifth on A, fifth on D, third on G, then back to fifth D and fifth A. Then we have the A sharp, and this is where I prefer to use the version I'm very close to G minor, all right? So you'll have that chord and play the same pattern. It sounds like this. So that is six on E, fifth on A, third on D and third on G, then back to third D and fifth A. And the final chord we have for this picking pattern here in the verse is the D minor. Again, hold the chord as it is, and it sounds like this. So we start now from the open D string. Second G, third B, first E, back to third D, B, sorry, and second G. All right, so there you have the patterns now. You're gonna play two picking rounds per chord for one verse and with the same chord progression. So F2, G minor two, A sharp two, and D minor two. That is one verse, okay? So the song comes with two verses on top of each other. So that will be in total of four picking rounds of this chord progression. All right. So that takes us to the chorus. Now it starts the strumming. So we will learn the strumming pattern uh, pretty soon. But first it goes with A sharp. And I now choose this version of it, the, the sus version here on the first fret with the bar finger. You play four downs on that with a pause. So. Like that and then you go to the F and play the same four downs with a pause and then you go to the G minor and now this is where you use the strumming pattern the strumming pattern sounds like this all right so it's down then up down up down so you have the down first and then pause and then up down up down then pause and then up down up and that's it so down pause up down up down pause up down up slowly like this you're gonna play that G minor for two strumming rounds and that will be one corporation so a sharp four downs pause then F four downs Pause and then G minor two strumming rounds. So two strumming rounds with the G minor sounds like this. So a couple rounds of this chord progression goes like this. of this and then after the four rounds of this chord progression you're gonna end with F two strummer rounds so right so the same strumming rounds as the G two rounds and that is a great bridge to the verse play that comes right after since you are at the F there so you're gonna play another two verses verse three and four with the picking pattern. Then comes the second chorus played in the same way as the chorus we just learned. And then after this um, uh, second chorus mm -hmm. comes a bridge part. It's about two minutes and 58 seconds into the song. It starts with a G minor. So after you play the two string rounds on the F that ends the chorus comes this bridge part and you just continue with strumming here. So we'll have a strumming pattern here for the following chords. G minor, two. Right, 
right? And then you have the A sharp. Here I prefer to play this version of it. You can go with this if you wish. It's very handy and close. Uh, I prefer the sus version here. Yeah, anyway, it's up to you to choose which one. So A sharp, two. D sharp two, and you end with one down on C with a pause. Then comes after this one verse play. It's about now three minutes and forty seconds into the song. Uh, kind of an ending of this bridge part. It's a verse play with the picking of one round song. So that is one round of it. You could call it uh, like a fifth verse if you wish. I call it just an ending of the bridge part. Uh, anyway, so we know that. And then we're gonna play a third chorus. It's played in the same way as the previous choruses. And after the third chorus comes a post chorus part and it's just an ending, so to speak, an outro. You're gonna play two stronger rounds of F and two strong rounds of G minor and then you just go back to F and play one down. So the post chorus ending outro here will be like this. And that's a great ending of a great song. Happy People by X Ambassadors, Taylor Swims and Jack Ross. Nice to teach this one for you guys. Uh, I really enjoy this song. A great, great, great guitar song. Fits the guitar very well. And if you can sing, that's top notch there for this song. So give it a try guys. If you love this tutorial, please let me know. Thumb up this tutorial, subscribe to this channel. Really, really appreciate all the support guys. Until next time, play tuned.